A classic example of integration by parts is using it to find the indefinite integral of the natural logarithm function. That's not an integral you need to memorize, but it's a process you ought to see. The indefinite integral of the natural logarithm function. And you will probably argue that this is not an appropriate venue for integration by parts because we do not have a product we just have the natural logarithm, to which I reply, well, we could have a product if we wanted to. Multiplying by one does not change anything. And let's try using integration by parts on this product. Lyot suggests we should let u be the natural log of x. That would leave one dx as a d v d u equals one divided by x dx v is the antiderivative of one dx which is x. And now we plug and play, sticking each of these into our parts formula. u times v. minus the integral of v du. And brilliant, v du is one. So we get an extremely elementary integral from out of this. x times the natural logarithm of x. This integral is x. And we've got a constant of integration. Working from memory, so don't quote me on it, but I believe this same trick of writing a function as one times itself will let you take the antiderivatives of the inverse trig functions as well.